I'm gonna teach you in this video how to take your photos from this to this in about 10 minutes. You're gonna have to ignore the fact that I'm using a toothbrush for a microphone. I bet you've um I bet you've never seen that before. Arguably the number one thing when it comes to making your photos look better, you look more defined, more muscular, it all comes down to one thing, and that is lighting. Good lighting brings depth to your photo, making you look way more muscular, and it's done through shadows and highlights. I won't get super technical about it, but basically the contrast between the shadows and the highlights is what makes your photo look more 3D. Everywhere that there's topless pictures of people, they would have probably considered it lighting. All of my YouTube thumbnails, I do it because it makes them pop more, it makes you want to click on them more. If you haven't watched my other videos, go and watch them after this one. Basically all fitness influencers will do this. Their photos are just a little bit of a level up compared to everyone else's. So how can you do the same as that? You don't need big fancy lights. You do need to subscribe though. And you don't need a super expensive camera like I'm filming this video on. That is why I'm going to take these photos on my iPhone 10. And as you can see, it's only got one little camera, but it will still do the job. Okay, so first I'm going to give you an example of bad lighting so you know what not to do. This is what most people will do and it just ruins their photos. Most people think to just get as much light as possible onto their photos. That doesn't work. So like I said, I'm going to do this on my iPhone. I'm going to use my big window in my my room to just get as much natural light in as possible so I'm just gonna put my phone up there I'm gonna flex quite hard so as you can see in this photo I look pretty washed out not very defined and there's one simple thing we can do to change that just change the angle of which you're shooting and it's because of the way that the light will bounce off your muscles so yeah I'll take another photo so you can really understand exact same lighting we literally just changing the angle tense as normal as you would with any photo and just look at the difference no photo editing all I've done is go from here to here. I've not even looked at the photos yet, but I know that they're going to be a world of difference. So the next time you take a progress photo, I just want you to think about the angle that the lighting is coming in from. Now that photo looks pretty good, right? I'm quite happy with it, but we can do even better. This is like side lighting. The best lighting that you want to look for is down lighting. If you have a light that's like straight down on you, it's like... It's the holy grail of lighting. If you can get good down lighting, your photo is like guaranteed to look sick. Let me get another example for you on my phone. So this light is straight down. So that is going to bounce perfectly off my muscles. And you can see what I mean. It creates more shadows and more highlights. So the top of my abs look more highlighted compared to underneath. So much better. Like look at my shoulders in comparison to that first photo. Bonus tips. <laughs> Get a quick pump to make your photos look even better. This one's tricky, but can have a massive difference. Really open up your body when you're flexing. Rather than being like really closed in, it just makes you look smaller. If you open your body up, it just makes you look more masculine and bigger. And this last one is a little bit controversial, but download Lightroom on your phone. Once you have Lightroom on your phone, you want to quickly log in. So once you have logged in, you just click on this little blue button at the bottom and add photos from your camera roll. Obviously allow access. Get whichever progress photo you want to edit. So if I take the one that we just shot, I can crop it in what I normally do is for Instagram, crop it into one by one. And then what you can do from there, you go to light and that gives you all of your light settings. So normally I will bump up the contrast and you can already see what a difference that has made. Basically just have a bit of a mess around with all the settings until you think that it looks good. But normally I'll just mess around with mostly the contrast. And I think I look quite orange in this photo and that's definitely just because of the color of the light. So if I go to color here, I can change the temperature of the photo. If I change it a little bit towards blue, I think that looks a lot better. And you can see the difference that adding a little bit of editing has done to the photo. Keep it nice and minimal. You don't want to go overboard with it to the point where your photos look stupid and obviously edited. So that is how you use lighting to make your photos look even better. If you did enjoy the video or find it valuable, drop it a like down below. That would be greatly appreciated. It really helps out the channel. And if you wouldn't mind dropping a subscribe if you want to see videos like this in the future. See you in the next video. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Oh.